Alrighty, so good day everyone. Um, I just recently picked up a new tablet, so I wanted to see what I could do with the TUIO nodes. Uh, and what I've built is a bit of a uh, thumb twisting match game. So as it says on the screen, slide one finger to match. Basically, you're trying to match the color of the shape. Now you need two fingers. So one finger is the circle, one finger is the triangle when they're both lined up. Pretty basic. Uh, but now you have a third finger. So try and arrange your hands in a way that will line up until you get four fingers. And then you have to try and untwist yourself. Oh, lost it. So let's just cheat here. So first, second, third, fourth. Oh, wrong way around. There. And that basically locks it out. Alrighty, so let's uh let's dump dive in a bit more on how this actually functions. So we have the main uh node here is the TUIO array node. And what this will basically allow us to do is by using an app like I am here, which is uh, TUIO pad on the iPad Pro, uh, we can then grab the multi -pot touch points and um, bring them straight into Notch. So here I'm basically saying I want to grab all of the multi touch points that are happening at the moment. And then I'm using array element extractors to say I want to grab only touch point one, only touch point two, only touch point three, and only touch point four. Um, so let's say with this one at the moment, touching here, now I have a blue circle, which is my goal. And when my white circle gets that goal, it just moves around quickly, but it does actually flash blue. So how this works is there's a hot zone here attached to the blue sphere. So whenever the white sphere comes into the hot zone, which I'll pause and show you that hot zone around there is that green square. So whenever this white, the center of this white sphere enters that hot zone, it'll fire off a trigger. Uh, that'll come down to an extractor down here, which will extract from the hot zone. And then it'll fire across into a condition modifier. And that'll basically say, all right, you know, what is our, our threshold? Currently on level one, there is only a threshold of one. So if there's one hit, it'll run into an accumulator, which will then randomize all of the x and y positions of the the blue sphere so it pops up somewhere different and that'll happen four times each time one of these happens it fires through into an envelope modifier down here in the accumulator so what this accumulator is going to do is it's going to count up every time we've matched this circle with a circle until it does it four times now that's the greater than three um i just did that because i don't want it to be um set to be an equal to four so greater than three, that fires off another accumulator down here. And before we said our condition was when our touch is equal one, it's now going to make our touches equal two. So let me just jump in here, make a couple more matches. And now you see that we not only have the triangles popping up on screen, our condition modifier here to fire off another trigger is two. So I can sit there and match this one but I need to be able to match both of them at once for it to fire off that it's actually been matched. So here we go. Matched, 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 matched. And the way that we're getting these extras to pop in is once we've done our accumulated down here and our condition is we've, we've satisfied everything in this column, we have the greater than, sorry, greater than three matches. We've got a execute child node which fires on which this basically just sits between the root node and the array element extractor. So when we've done four matches in column one, it'll turn on both the yellow target down here, which is attached to the hot zone and the white triangle, which is movable around. And the same thing happens again for column two, we'll trigger everything in column three. Column three will trigger everything in column four. Um, and then I've just got some extra logic down the bottom here so when column four gets triggered all the way through, and I believe that is going to be an accumulator value of, 
I think the condition is greater than 15. So 16 matches, 4, 8, 12, 16. We're then going to fire off this envelope modifier. And this envelope modifier, as you can see here, is linked into quite a few things. And all of those are the reset nodes of accumulators. So if we fire a 1 down this line into this reset, that accumulator sets back to 0. And we basically, it's exactly the same as hitting the home key and re restoring everything through. So it's just a fun little game I built trying to learn how to use the TUIO nodes. Um, and thought it would just be cool to, to put this up there and people can have a bit of a play with it. I'm um, thinking of putting in a timer system so we can try and get like a, almost like a leaderboard of the people that can match all 16 uh, the fastest. But um, yeah, it was just, just a fun bit of learning. And um, yeah, have a great weekend. Cheers.